9.5 is all about dilations. A dilation can either be a reduction or an enlargement. In other words, the image is a scaled up or scaled down version of the pre-image. In the figure shown, ABCD is the pre-image and it is reduced or scaled down to A prime, B prime, C prime. So every dilation has uh, corresponding angles congruent, the corresponding sides will be proportional, and you must have a center of dilation and a scale factor. We usually call the scale factor R. Some notation pieces when uh, describing the dilation, we could say uh, point XY maps under the dilation to, and then whatever the uh, image points would be. So for example, there's the center of dilation and R is the scale factor. Oftentimes we'll use the origin, 0, 0, as the scale factor, or as the scale factors, pardon me, as the dilation's center. And so then the uh, mapping rule says XY maps to R times X and R times Y. So that's the rule whenever you have a, a dilation using the center as the origin or as zero, zero. So scale factor. The scale factor is the ratio by which the image is a stretch or shrink of the pre-image. So we define R, scale factor, as uh, the image, some figure in the image divided by the pre-image. If your scale factor is greater than one in absolute value, then you have an enlargement. If it's less than one, then the dilation is considered a reduction. It's possible for the scale factor to equal one, and in that case, you have a congruence dilation. One thing to note, it is possible to have a negative scale factor, and in that case, the image changes orientation from the pre-image. So now let's try an example. Here we're going to dilate CAT with center at the origin, 0, 0, and a scale factor is 3. So first, graph your pre-image. Notice I changed point T. I wanted it a bit more manageable. And since we're dilating with a center at 0, we're just going to multiply the x and y by our scale factor. So C maps to C prime. 0 times 3, of course, is 0 and 2 times 3 is 6. And so C prime, you can see, is 3 times the distance from the origin that C was. Likewise, A maps to 15, 12, and T maps to 9, 0. And so then our image, this green triangle, is 3 times as large as the pre-image, the blue triangle. All of the angles are congruent. C is congruent to C prime, and so on. And the side lengths, the pre-image, tripled, will equal the image. Let's try another example. Here we want to dilate PARK with a center of 0, 0, and a scale factor of 1 fourth. In this case, we'll have a reduction not an enlargement. So first graph the pre-image, then point P will map to negative 2, negative one, uh, negative 2 positive 1 because we're taking each x and y coordinate multiplying by 1 fourth, so negative 8 becomes negative 2, 4 times negative 1 fourth is, pardon me, 4 times 1 fourth is equal to 1. And so therefore the distance from P to the origin is 4 times as large as P prime the origin. And then we'll continue plotting the rest of our points with the scale factor of 1 fourth. And so we have our trapezoid that is now 1 fourth the size of the original. For the next example, let's try using GeoGebra to show a negative scale factor. So we have FLAG using the center point 0, 0, and a scale factor r equals negative 0.5. Here we are to dilate this, uh, this image, FLAG, dilate it in the origin with a scale factor of negative 1 half. 
So first I'll plot a point at the origin, and maybe I'll rename it something descriptive, and maybe I'll change up its color as well. Make it maybe a nice bright red. All right, so there's a tool over here in the fourth toolbox called Dilate Object from Point by Factor. And so that's the tool we want to use. We're going to dilate, well, let's start with point F. Dilate F through the origin with a scale factor of negative one half. And so we see there is F prime down there. Uh, kind of interesting is the segment length from F to the origin is twice as long as F prime to the origin. Also, since this is in the first quadrant, it's in the kind of the positive direction, this is in the negative direction. Move this around a sec. line thickness and maybe make them dotted lines. So continuing, I've got point L with uh, dilated through the origin with a scale factor of negative one half. A and G. Again, I did kind of like seeing those segments. Keyboard shortcut is Command E will bring up object properties. And then I'm just holding down the Command button to select these recent segments. And I want to change all of them to, I, no, I wanted a very light line thickness. I wanted them all dashed. Maybe I'll make their color matte. Point of reflection, pardon me, the point of dilation. And so then, my image, FLAG, I'll use the polygon tool to kind of fill that in. And I like a green image. Let's change that color. There we go. All right. So now we have our dilated image. FLAG becomes F prime L prime A prime G prime. You'll notice the orientation has changed. Instead of kind of standing up and pointing off to the right, it's fallen over and pointing off to the left. And all of the segment lengths are half as big. And so we see whenever we have a negative scale factor, not only does the number apply, but the fact that it's a negative scale factor changes the orientation. And so we see, for example, f used to be 2, 2. It maps to negative 1, negative 1. So a negative scale factor kind of looks like a rotation of 180 degrees around the origin in addition to stretching or shrinking. In this next example, we have a dotted figure, which is the image, and we want to determine the scale factor. So remember, scale factor, R is image divided by pre-image. And so in this case, if I find that length is one unit by counting boxes, its corresponding side is three units tall, I would say the scale factor is image divided by pre-image, one over three. Similarly, here I've got an enlargement because the image, the dotted figure, is larger than the pre-image. Uh, I see that length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long. This next one looks like it's about 1, 2 and a half units long. And so we would say the scale factor here is 2. Two final examples. Uh, no pictures here. We're just given that the length mn is equal to 3, r is equal to 3, and what is the image of mn? And likewise, uh, similar but different numbers, we've got the image mn is 7, scale factor was 21, what was the length of the original pre-image? So again, the key here is r times pre-image equals image. 
And so for the first example, we know scale factor times pre-image equals image. So therefore, 3 times 3 must equal that image length. Likewise, in the other example, we see that mn must be one-third units long.